Good evening, welcome I'm back here. to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we left off last time, we got Jolie Bindo to join our team, and he helped us get past a force shield that was in our way, so now we're in the lower Shadowlands looking for a star map. You know, he says there's going to be some... Oh, that looks like maybe a Wookiee. He says there's going to be some tough things down here. Now this looks like a bunch of Sith. Or Mandalor Mandalorians again. Fighting a Wookiee. What's going on, fellas? Get in there, help out. Uh, team, are the rest of you contributing at all? There, about time. Alright, let's get some remains. Ah. Great, Baka, let this outsider be different than the slavers. I beg you, can you heal my wounds? I can, actually. An attack from nowhere. Please, I need to be healed. Can you? Uh, what happened here? I need to be healed. I'm dying. Just heal the Wookiee. Come on. Yes, here you go. Thank you. I would not have expected an outsider to aid me. Perhaps you will help again? My hunting party, all of them, killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murderers to suffer the same. Well, what can you tell me about your attackers? I've never seen their kind before, not even among the Zerka. You saw them, armored head to toe, yet blending with the forest. Oh, Mandalorians? Yeah, they're a special kind of person. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and then again further south after the west branch of the path. Their speed was amazing. They fought like outsiders, waiting until we were unarmed. They would not attack until we had put our weapons away. They strike like cowards. Oh, I wonder what Candrus would think of that. I will look into it. Thank you. I will wait here. I'm too weak to fight them again, but I refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is sated. Please, if you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. They are not worthy of life. Look for them where the bodies of my fellows are. They will only attack you if you are not armed. The cowards. Not armed? Hmm. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. First, there was remains to loot. Well, I guess it wouldn't really be cool to loot the remains of his friends right here in front of him. So, nothing there. Oh, get that though. Well, so we've got some branching paths here. I guess we'll go this way for now. Alright, this looks like the bodies. What is... Th oh, those are more Kinrath. Uh, but I have to be unarmed, huh? Well, I don't really like that. See if that does it. Or does everyone have to be unarmed? Alright, we'll unarm the whole team. It's a little obnoxious, but. So, any Mandalorians want to rush out and attack? See anything to click on to trigger this. Maybe we need to go a little bit past. I don't want to go over to those kinrath. Uh, let's try this path just a little bit. Oh, there we go.
well, well, well. We're gonna put our weapons back on. I don't remember which lightsaber I was using. Are they pretty much all the same? That one's a little better. So is that one. I was using two green ones. Mission, you had a blaster on. Oh, that's probably the one. Okay, yeah. The Mandalorian heavy pistol looks good. And Jolie, you had a purple lightsaber. This one. Alright, looks good. Let's take these guys down. How am I missing someone who's standing still? That's embarrassing. Don't die, please, team. Okay, this isn't looking good. They're going down fast. Let's get over here. Oh no, he healed him up some. Okay. Still, I think we should focus on all the same enemy. Which I'm clicking on the wrong one again. Go get that one. Concentrate our efforts. Never too old for this. Alright, now this fella. There we go. Oh, and they're fighting the Kinrath. I don't actually care. I want to get these remains first. Ooh. Ugh, I don't feel good. <laughs> you guys do what you're doing. Don't die, please, Jolie. Never too old for this. Oh, get back here, you idiot! Oh my gosh, he's gonna die. Let's go help him out. Yeah, party member down. Because he just charged in there. I don't know what his plan was. My goodness. Alright, mission, it's me and you. Okay. No point in stasis now, but whatever. Alright, hit this one. Okay. That was not particularly well done, team. I want you to know. Heal everybody. I'm here. Now then, let's look at these data pads we just picked up. That was the wrong button. Uh, this one? Yeah. Let's find the data pads. Okay, number one. This request is in the Mandalorian language. A stump disabled the stabilizers on my swoop. I request parts before other systems fail. If the generator goes, my blending field will stop working and I'll be visible to our prey. Okay, so we need to find that, his swoop bike, and take out the generator. This is a personal log in the Mandalorian language. This hunt is no challenge. How will attacking unarmed creatures train us to use these Jedi toys. You want new warriors to learn? Watching a comrade lop his own arm off fighting a real opponent would teach more than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. The blending field generators on the swoops grant near-perfect camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? Hmm. Interesting. Well, there's the swoop, so let's go take out the generator. a signal device, however, on it. it. Contains no field data to transmit. Okay, well, where's the generator? That's what I really want. 
Shows signs of recent use, as it is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect data. Okay. So, I guess we're not doing anything with it. I do notice there's conveniently three of these. So, if we find the missing signal device, do we get to take them? Alright, there's another pile of Wookiees. But I don't want to take all my weapons off again. I want to see if we could find a generator. That would be... What is that over there? Well, we gotta go look. A computer, eh? Let's just be... On the safe side. You never know when you just suddenly are gonna... Run across something a lot stronger than you anticipated. What? There's a mine up here mission. I need you to get it, please. Over here as well, please. Thank you. Is that all of it? Alright, we're looking good. Hmm? Let's talk to this. Hey, computer. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I have no doubt it holds what you seek, but good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the? It always muttered <laughs> something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Who placed this terminal here? Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed before access. I am sorry. Oh. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. Okay. What limitations are placed on your program? Corruption has resulted in gaps appearing in my memory, and in that of the original installation. It could be theorized that these gaps are intentional, but I have no information on that. What gaps are missing? Error. I cannot present a non-presence. Oh, yeah. Perhaps you can ask other questions, and data corruption will become evident. Yeah, it was a pretty silly question. Um... Well, what do you mean by behavioral reconfiguration? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. I don't fit that pattern? I can't say. I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by my programming. All right. So that seems helpful. Why have I been allowed access? Wasn't well, that what I asked in the first place and it got it confused? I can't say. Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Do you not know why, or are you restricted from saying why? I can't say. Mm. Likelihood of restriction by ah. previous user, 100%. Well, I want to ask questions about you in this installation. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt to access original system memory. Who installed this hollow interface? This interface was installed to better access the ancient data stored within the pre-existing system. The exact date is unavailable. Programming keys indicate no earlier than five years before current Republic standard. Mm, five years ago. I didn't notice it. This must have been installed in strictest secrecy. Couldn't have been Circa. No other information on time of installation or identity of user available. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Well then. Was there any further contact with the installer of this interface? That information is unavailable, but contact is not required for the execution of my programming. Scanning range of this facility is well beyond planetary boundaries. Well, who last accessed this installation? Sorting by identity. Three attempts by the Wookiee Freyer, all denied. 152 <laughs> attempts by human Jolie Bindo, all denied. Well, he's been persistent. <laughs> Call me stubborn, I guess. 
There wasn't much else to do around here. Error. List of access attempts prior to these is corrupted. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Well, five years ago is about the time Revan passed this way. Error. Data regarding subject Revan corrupted. Interesting. So, there was an entry at some time, though. Error. Data on Revan unavailable. Let's go back to questions about Accessing. installation. I will answer as. What's the original function of this installation? Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk's forests is a direct result. Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication, 29,640 Two years before current Republic standard. Aha! So, why was agricultural reformation needed? Agricultural record indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Error. Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. Well, that is a short period for adaptation of native creatures. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. It could be expected that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashyyyk also accelerated the evolution of various species. No further information is available. There is too much corrupted data. All right. Well, so... If it's built that long ago, it certainly predates the Error. Republic. Information regarding the builders of this installation has been corrupted. No evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. Alright. Uh, let's go back Accessing. to installation questions. What's the current function? The current purpose of this installation is defense. Of what? Error. That information is not available. Well then, general questions. Answer will be given within the limits of... Uh, I seek information about a star map. Accessing, yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Hmm, original memory, so the map's as old as the installation. Error, data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. Well then, what do I need to do to get access to it? Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. Well, what if I fail? Then you are not worthy of further access. You will be rejected as unsuitable. And what does rejection mean? Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Well, let's just do it. Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You <laughs> travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. Okay. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor and he will serve five years while you serve none he is offered the same deal but if you both accuse the other you both serve two years what do you do what do you trust him to do uh well he's got a life debt to me so i trust him i won't say anything and neither will he are you sure if you turn you risk two years or none at all if you reply on loyalty you risk one year or five your loyalty is dangerous your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Mm. Your answer is incorrect. Well, then I'll change my answer. A superficial change will <laughs> not match the pattern in memory. You must answer truthfully, knowing the consequences. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. All right, then. Continue. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. Hypothetical. You are at war. 
Deciphering an intercepted code, you learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in 5 days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? Well... I think the proper answer is going to be attack in 10 days, but we'll try to hedge. This is no decision. Mm. I ask again, do you save your people or abandon them for the sake of the war? Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? All right, then. I think the answer he's looking for is prepare my forces to attack in 10 days. Very good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. I can't believe you just let all those people die. I wouldn't really Ultimate mission. victory required the death of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. Well, this is distasteful, but... Yeah, I guess the victory is irrelevant. It's about stopping the war. You achieved the proper result with logic that does not match the pattern in memory. I shall adjust my evaluation. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. Okay. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? Yeah, let's stop the attack and be a hero. But if nothing happens, your people will have no need of heroes. No, they do not see a threat. You have coddled them. Uh -huh. Your empire will be brought down by introspection. You have failed to match the pattern in memory. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Oh, battle Defense time, it sounds like. Initiated. Whatever. We have disabled droid. You'll pay! <laughs> Not this again! Not this again! You'll pay! Alright. So do I have to talk to this thing, or can I just get past it? Neural scan complete. Analyzing, well, it would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. Hmm. And what did your scan during the battle reveal? That information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. What's Activation that? of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. All right. Well, well, a star map, an ancient artifact of dark side How power. do you know it's dark side? Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. An interesting theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. Well, we do need to take care of the Mandalorian problem first, but... Uh, hit the star map, please. Alright, let's try it from maybe a different angle. We're going right back to the same spot. Do I need to touch it, or did I already get what I need from it? I think... Got it, right?
Okay, yeah, we got the star map. It's incomplete, but we're getting closer. Alright, sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll finish that Mandalorian quest, see if there's anything else down here, and then head back topside. We've got a whole bunch of quests that we can finish up now.